And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. Let's take a live look out at Jackson Town Square right now. It looks like those roads are pretty slippery due to some lingering snow. Seeing that snow on the floor out there, it's pretty nice to see if you like the snow. And if you do like the snow, we're not really going to see much in terms of snow across the Snake River Plain, at least for the next several days or so. Not really going to be seeing that. But Storm Tracker Satellite Radar picking up some snow showers right now across actually moving into Jackson. But across the Snake River Plain, we're seeing a lot of clouds. Once again, to start off this morning, maybe some isolated rain showers down south approaching by Malad City and as we pan out to get a look and see where the next system is that'll be moving in from the Pacific Northwest that'll be coming in by about tomorrow and with that storm system it'll bring us the chance of some rain showers for tomorrow for the Snake River Plain and it'll also bring a lot of wind there's a wind advisory in effect from 12 o'clock tomorrow until 9 o'clock tomorrow night and this is for the lower half of the Snake River Plain also for the eastern half of the Magic Valley we'll have winds between about 25 to 35 miles per hour for tomorrow with gusts up to 45 miles per hour possible, so it'll be a pretty windy finish to the work week across the Snake River Plain for tomorrow. But for today, we're going to be dealing with those clouds once again that we saw yesterday. I think we see maybe a few peaks of sunshine as we move throughout the day by about 12 o'clock. That's where we could maybe see a few peaks of sunshine. And then across the western half of Wyoming, seeing a mixture of those rain and snow showers, even across the central mountains by Salmon Chalice, seeing those rain and snow showers throughout the day. More thick, patchy clouds building by about 4 o'clock, and I think that that's when we could even see some moisture coming out of those clouds. I think all locations across the Snake River Plain will definitely see some showers, maybe once the sun sets into the overnight hours for tonight. But we could also see them again later on this afternoon. With all those clouds in the sky, keeping temperatures actually on the warmer side. Temperatures right now are pretty much in the 40s across the lower half of the Snake River Plain. It's 43 degrees right now in Pocatello, 37 degrees in Idaho Falls. It's 30 degrees right now in Jackson, 30 degrees also right now in Haley across the Central Mountains. As you look ahead to this afternoon, temperatures will actually be slightly warmer than what they were yesterday. Yesterday we saw temperatures in the 40s. Today will be in the 50s, which is actually right around average. The average temperature for Pocatello is 54 degrees. Today will be right around that, actually a degree warmer coming in at 55 degrees. It'll be 52 today in Blackfoot, 50 degrees in Idaho Falls, Western Wyoming, generally in the 40s with rain and snow showers likely, with rain and snow showers also likely across the Central Mountains. As you look ahead to this evening, those low temperatures Temperatures very similar to last night, mainly in the 40s again, with those clouds in the sky keeping us on the warmer side. We'll also have a chance for some rain showers across the Snake River Plain. As we look at that seven day forecast, chance of rain today, chance of rain also for tomorrow. It'll be a very windy finish to the work week with gusts up to 45 miles per hour possible temperatures, sadly warmer and then cooling down once we get into Saturday and Sunday. We'll have another chance, I think, for some more measurable moisture come Sunday. Across Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast, chance of showers later on this afternoon into the evening, chance of showers also tomorrow and then temperatures in the 40s for the weekend, not quite as windy on Sunday. It'll be breezy, but we'll still be able to see some rain across the Teton area. Jackson, Afton and Driggs expect a rain and snow showers today, tomorrow with temperatures in the 30s for the weekend. The chance for snow showers on Saturday, more snow on Sunday. Don't forget to turn your clocks back Saturday night into Sunday as daylight savings time comes to an end across the central mountains. Rain and snow showers today, tomorrow. It'll be a little bit breezy tomorrow and then partly sunny on Saturday.